Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Zero's content. So in today's video, we're going to discuss the director's notes, new story, chapter 16, and a collaboration update. I hope this collaboration update would push through this time because the last update of this collaboration was a dud. It never, you know, it never came about, and I hope this is the, the real deal right now. So Greetings from Yong Zun Choi, the director of EXO's Heroes. So the name and the details of the content introduced in this director's note are a work in progress. So um, excuse them if they have not provided all the details in this update. Uh, there might be additional you know, details or they might take out something. But primarily this is a teaser. So basically they're going to add a new chapter 16 um to the story which highlights here emma and baelish um but again i would like to highlight this exos heroes give us new content to play with probably under a dungeon style content would do um big bosses again we would like that it's actually a proven formula that big bosses are actually a big hit in terms of content play especially for pve so I hope you guys are listening, but uh, moving forward, upcoming collaboration, new heroes coming from another world. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that chapter 15 stories uh, recommended combat power is being downgraded. So it's going to be easier to finish. So again, upcoming collaboration, new heroes are coming from another world. So the little, the title of collaboration will be, will be proceed for the first time with Exos Heroes. Okay. So please look forward to a special meeting with the heroes from another world. Okay. So hopefully, um, I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to say the, the, the name of the previous update, uh, the uh, previous collaboration, but expect to have one. That's just it. Okay. So again, next is a hero birthday system update. All the heroes will be added birthday information so more details can be checked in the hero story so right now it's it's their age there not their birthday so hero has been gr heroes have been grown, growing up and can be obta can obtain a special gift on his or her birthday okay all the heroes are worthwhile does various heroes set up various set up special rewards without discrimination to celebrate birthdays by heroes that the users have fostered and grown okay so i believe that um if you've leveled them up probably bigger the rewards on their birthday uh because you have to foster and you have grown so um might be dependent on if they're level 75 or level 90 must be but they're going to give rewards so if you see here sample it's battery's birthday so what i see here is i think 100 zest so well this is a good you know if every day there's going to be a birthday why not so and also the uh, most probably going to be it, it's going to depend on um how you've leveled up the character okay so director director's intention is this to uh, update to add more interaction features with 246 heroes in exo zeros wow that many and they're still growing and adding to number of heroes so here, birthday celebration system will be added through the update. Okay, next would be your Terrier Die Station uh, Closet System update. The dying system has been in inconvenient to apply only one color. Okay, Closet System will be added to the Die System to improve inconvenience. New system is a preset function and stores retrieves the hero's dying status. Okay, after the update, try to keep your favorite color in the closet probably like a wardrobe yeah, actually it's a wardrobe system um if you saved a set of colors you can probably you know change to another set of colors uh like a group so if you have if you've saved this set then you can probably add another slot for another set of colors to you know to change whatever mood you have for your heroes at the time so this is good um good aesthetic uh addition as well so okay 
So the design is not, not to lose the color that you liked. Okay. So Air Squadron Promotion Board update. Oh, Air Squadron Promotion Board will be will be updated to promote the Air Squadron that you belong. Through Air Squadron Promotion Board, you can be, rec be recruited, new member, and promoted. It allows only Master and Deputy Master of the Squadron to rep. You may receive additional promotion effects to pay for particular goods. So let's see what, what this entails when this launches. Um, I hope it gives you additional bonuses if you, if you get promoted uh, within your Air Squadron. Okay? So, director's intention is we check the need to promote Air Squadron. We hope that the new updated system will help community communities active, uh, uh, community actives among users. So, active members. This will benefit more active members, sort of. Okay. So, story collect book. We are preparing a story col story collect book that can recheck the past story. In the story collect book, you can check all the cleared stories, hero battles, side story, fate line stories. We continue to discuss. Uh, blah, blah, uh, sorry, okay. We're looking at recent updates to build up the story. Story collection is first step in new system with added defeat. Well, at this point, I don't know what this is yet. Uh, we'll have to check what this really does when it launches. Signature force. This is actually one of the things that you know you guys would want to hear so signature force an update concerning vagabond enhanced level will be added through this update vagabond enhanced level will be open will be open to 3-4 so similar to wasted red as what they did last time please look forward to vagabond heroes so vagabond would be schmid um seowa and awaken zeon so if you for those of you who have been using their faction, this is a good, you know, as long as you've you farmed Schmid for this signature force, this will really or greatly benefit you guys. So new Fate Core theme update. Um this actually confirms um, um the two heroes that are in the picture. Okay, I'll just move this up. So on your left, that is going to be Kylock in white. On your right, that is going to be Schmidt, which has, I think, a black armor. Um, I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen the picture already. So basically, it's confirmed that these are the, the two heroes that are going to be launched. I don't know when they're going to come out, the new Fate Core theme. I hope it's going to be this, this Thursday. Um, but who knows? Maybe next week? Maybe March? But this is actually confirmed through this picture and through the director's notes. Okay, so Eternal Bond. Okay, all of you know what the Eternal Bond is. And if we can see here. Okay, so I think we have, I think, another week for Eternal Bond. So if I may assume, I think this will be launched next week. Because I think Eternal Bond will end. I think we have a week more of logins before we get what what we selected for the previous here uh, generals but for the next ones they're going to give out um, eternal bond for Garf or for Queen Carrie so for those of you who are, who are building Queen Carrie this is a good opportunity for you to you know at least build her up and uh, save um, copies of her for her future signature force you can actually transcend her once but for those of you guys who are actually um, leveling up their Wasted Red. I'm so happy that they're including Garf in this one. I'm actually at um, 2-4 right now, looking towards 3-1. So I am actually happy for, for this one. I'll be getting Garf for Eternal Bond next time. So convenience improvement. Once lost in daily matches edited so that Sibens Tunier participation achieved is completed. We have noticed that you are unable to complete Sibens Tunier participation achieved once you lose against a user in the daily match list. There have been improvements made. There are peh, there have been improvements made so that the participation achievement is cleared even though you lose. Okay. Um I'm a bit lost there, so let's just continue. Intro theme change function added. So the intro theme prob yeah, I think 
there are two more um if there are two more intro themes we have added a function where you can change the intro themes well kind of so so not really interested um fate core list sorting function added as the number of fate cores have increased you have noticed that there weren't good ways to check the fade cores, so therefore we have added the function that you can sort fade cores by their number of enhancement and fusion stats. This is actually good because we're doing inventory of their fusion stats. Um, if you guys can relate. Equipment equipment garden stones filter function. When you are in battle, we have noticed that the equipment garden stones is more important than before due to the functions such as break functions and hero awakening function. We have added the function so that you can filter depending on the faded armor's guardian stone. For now, you can check the equipment and guardian stones easily. Okay. So anyway, for the closing comment from the dis from the distributors, um, distributor director's note, we also wanted to tell you that our plans on the CV improvements. First of all, we we will recruit more different voices. CV is actually character voices, so. Uh, to improve our our act directing skills. Secondly, we're preparing adapt to adapt CV to a more variety of parts within the blah, blah blah. Lastly, as Exo Series is a global game, the CV schedule has always been taking more than expected. We ask for all your patience and support as we continuously work hard to provide you a close, perfect quality game and CV. Although we have thoroughly prepared for the first collaboration, so please look forward to it. Exos here has come to where it is now because of everyone who has been showing constant love and support. Exos here will strive to become a more enjoyable and proud game with continuous efforts to put in the game. Thank you. Okay. My thoughts on this. Number one, this is this is an average update. Short. Um, not much content. Again. We need more game modes in PvE content, preferably again dungeons. If Exo Zeros, you're listening to this, I hope that you listen to the, the players that I've been playing. Um, we need more content, PvE, uh, preferably dungeons, preferably something that you know can light a fire, you know, and what we're doing. We're just doing this. Um, automatically every day um, it's been a drag actually just doing the content although there has been you know in terms of heroes in, the, in terms of fate core we're good but content please we need more content we need more content you're nearing your one year in global launch in may and hopefully before the launch or during the launch you could put out newer content so that veterans and newer players can enjoy your game more or better okay so anyway guys that is for me ask for your thoughts please write it down in the comments below also for those who haven't subscribed to my channel almost 80 to 80 85 percent who watch my channel haven't subscribed yet so please do this supports my channel and also you all stay safe, take care, and this is the Warden, and I'm